like just I'm wondering like how you feel the the matchup has changed this year versus last year. Same teams, but different like, pieces. Like how do you feel it's changed? I mean, yeah, like different, obviously different players, different pieces on both sides, but obviously two teams that uh, you know are pretty evenly matched. So. A lot of people seem to be picking you guys. Do you feel like you guys are the favorites going into this one? I don't know. I don't think it that really plays any part into our mindset or anything going into it. So I'll leave that to you guys and, and everybody else to decide, I guess. A lot of people talk about the pressure on this team because of the struggles in the first round. Do you guys feel it in this room? I mean, I think there's a lot of excitement in this room to get going and, uh, you know, have a... Like I said yesterday, I have, you know, a big challenge in front of us to, to face that and, and, and just go out there and have fun and, and try to execute, um, you know, just taking it day by day. What's the confidence level? Like, what are you feeling from, from the guys going into the I mean, I think we've earned the right to, to be confident heading in, um, you know, after a strong regular season. I think, uh, you know, through the ups and downs, definitely a lot of things that, you know, we went through and uh, adversity, stuff like that, that you just grow uh, together. So, um, you know, they're obviously a confident group as well. I mean, they've been to three Stanley Cup finals in a row. So uh, they obviously know what it takes. And, um, you know, it's up to us to obviously try to push ourselves and uh, try to get over that, uh, you know, get over that hump, get over that whatever is going to come at us. Uh, you know, but it's just one game at a time, one shift at a time. They struggled a bit down the stretch. Do you take anything from that? Like, do you feel like maybe you're getting them at a good time? I mean, they've went to three Stanley Cup finals in a row. I mean, I'm pretty sure they, uh, regardless of how, you know, their games trended in the last couple months of the season. I mean, they're still a team that knows how to win and can pull it together this time of year, and they've obviously uh, shown that. So, um, yeah. You have some faces in this locker room who have had lots of Stanley Cup experience, lots of championship experience. I mean. Has there been any change in, um, I guess, the chatter in the room, the talk this year with some of those guys stepping up? I mean, I don't know if it's anything in specific, but I just think when you bring in guys, um, you know, like Factor, like guys that we've had here that have won before, have, you know, gone deep, G, guys like that. But, I mean, they have experience. They have been around for a while. They know what it takes to win. And I just think that uh, the way they go about their business, um, you know, night in, night out, every day at the rink, practice, doesn't matter. Just the way that they go about things. Obviously, we, uh, you notice those kinds of uh, little details and stuff, and I think it just pushes everybody to, uh, you know, kind of be on that same level uh, going into it. What do you learn from that series in particular last year that maybe can help you this year? I mean, it's, it's a game of inches. You know, it's, it's, so, uh, it's so tight out there. And um, like I said before, I mean, um, you know, both teams are pretty, uh, you know, evenly matched, I think, when you look at Look at them on paper and look at us on paper. Obviously, a lot of skill, a lot of speed, um, you know, good goaltending, and uh, a lot of depth. So it's uh, it's a game of inches out there, and um, you, know, you just got to take what's there, obviously, and fight for every inch. You know, Mitch didn't play the uh, game this week against Tampa, but um, is there anything as a group that when you were watching from above you could take from, from how you guys approached Tampa in that game? Yeah, I think there's lots of things that you can take and, and learn just from watching little details and stuff. Um, you know, especially when you're watching from up there, you can see the whole play develop. So, you know, I think it was uh, you know good to see uh, you know the game kind of from that angle and just kind of pick some things uh, up along the way. But you know, in the end, you just got to go out there and compete and play hockey. They like to mix it up a lot. You know, get into the kind of the chipper types of games. I'm just wondering with the guys you've added, how do you assess this team's ability to kind of deal with it? Yeah, I mean, I just think, you know, even from early on, like when we were younger, obviously a lot of teams kind of tried to play that, that kind of style game against us. And, you know, I think it's something that we've just become comfortable with and we can play that style as well. And um, we've got some guys in here that obviously play physical. And, um, you know, I just, it's all 20 guys got to go, just go out there and compete and, and give it their all every shift and, uh, and just play hard, play, you know, you know it's going to be a physical game out there. It's going to be fast with not a lot of space. And you just got to fight for every inch. Austin, you've been around long enough to know how important the playoffs are in this city. Uh, do you, as a group, do you, do you watch any of that excitement around the city? Do you, do you notice it, or do you have to tune it out? I mean, I think a little bit of both. I think you definitely want to channel that, uh, you know, that energy and obviously the excitement. We're excited to get going as well. And at the same time, just, you know, kind of having that composure and that level of focus. It's going through the brain. Is it excitement? Is it butterflies? Is it nerves? Is it it's a little bit of everything. Uh, you know, it just depends on time of day. Uh, right now we're excited. You know, we feel ready. 
Um, you know, between now and game time, I'm sure there'll be a range of emotions, but, you know, most of the guys feel good. Um, you know, we believe in our group, so we're looking forward to getting going. Yeah, I mean, obviously experience, you know, he's a big, strong guy. He's played in this league for a long time. He he understands, uh, you know, how to play his game. He's very competitive, very physical, so he plays a playoff style of hockey. So, you know, the two of us are going to work hard to, to play well together and help our group. I think a lot of people would say there's pressure on this team because of the struggles to get out of the first round. Mm -hmm. Is that something that's felt in this room, or is that just talk? I mean, there's pressure every year to to win um, and when you don't do it um, you know that can build but I mean for our group you know we're confident in what we have uh, um, in here it's a new year it's a new opportunity all we can do right now is you know worry about going out there tomorrow and playing well and winning a game um, then we'll just take it from there. Do you feel like this that things could change if, the, if it doesn't happen this year? Is, that, is there any thought about it? Well, well I mean that's not up to me or or the players in this room it's up to us to you know, to prepare the best we can, you know, this week leading up to tomorrow. Um, you know, go out there, be ready to play, and, you know, we'll take it from there. Um, all, all other decisions are, 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 you know, they come later and they're up to different people. But for our group, for our players, you know, we're doing what we need to do to get ready to play. And, uh, again, we'll just take it one day at a time starting tomorrow. How is the team now versus last year at this time? It's a tough question to answer. I mean, I mean, we got new people here. Um, you know, we're a year more experienced, so ultimately, once it starts tomorrow, um, you know, we're going to be put to the test. You know, we understand what the expectations are, and um, you know, we're going to go out there and you know, try to play our game, try to win. Um, but you know, one day at a time. The game last week uh, looked like Tampa really tried to mix it up. After the game, John Cooper said he didn't think there was any intensity, that it was an exhibition mm -hmm. game. You guys didn't have Matthews Martin in the lineup. Well, what do you take out of that game? How did you see that game? Um, I mean, it's a whole new day tomorrow. Uh, you know, we have a different lineup. Uh, I mean, they may have a different lineup. Um, it's, you know, playoffs game one. It'll be much different than, you know, a week ago. Um, so. I wouldn't expect to draw too many comparisons between that game and, and, and tomorrow night. Does the fact you've been in a lot of these uh, series and with a chance to close them out give you some, uh, you know, some confidence? I mean, you've yeah. been there and you've just... Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think we're trying to draw confidence from a number of different things. And, you know, playoff experience is, is, is one of those. And, um, you know, ultimately we have the belief in our group. Um, so it's just about us doing what we can to prepare. Uh, again, we understand what's at stake. We understand the opportunity that we have. Um, so, you know, we're going to do what we need to do here today. You know, we were here yesterday. We're going to keep building and just take it one day at a time. Speaking of playoff experience, you have some faces now in this room that have championship experience, mm -hmm. guys that have gone all the way. Um, is there been a change, I guess, um, with their demeanor um, now that the playoffs have started? I mean, is um, there it's not a huge change. It's just, I mean, it's nice to, to have new faces. I mean, just to talk to about their experiences and, you know, what they thought made them or their team successful. Um, and then ultimately our group has to be, um, you know, true to ourselves and have our own identity. I mean, we're not trying to be anyone else. We have to go out there. We have to find our own way, take it one day at a time, um, do what we need to do for our group to, to feel good and have confidence. And, um, you know, it's nice to draw from other people's experiences, but ultimately we have to do what's going to work best for us and, um, you know, play our structure. Uh, I mean, do what makes us successful, and you know we'll take it from there. How comfortable are you guys? Do you think of the favorite role? Those are the ball guys. A lot of people on the outside are picking you in this year. I'm not up to date with the uh, NHL gambling uh, lines, um, so. I like it. Well, that's great then. <laughs> okay. Um, are you encouraged at all by how Tampa finished the season? They've been like sub 500 since five years. It's not something that we think about. You know, they're they've been to to how many finals now in a row? They've been to three. So, no, we're not really taking into account a couple games, you know, for them down the stretch. What did you take from the playoffs last year? Or is there anything in particular that you draw from that specific series? Well, there's always lots of stuff. But, I mean, it's just good to know your opponent a little bit. And, I mean, we're familiar with with the deal playing these guys, with the travel, the hotel, you know, all that, all that type of stuff I think is nice. And then ultimately, in terms of on the ice and, you know, within the series, there's lots of stuff. But, um, you know, we won't, won't get into that. Yeah, I think it just makes everything that much more important. 
Uh, you know, practice days like today and yesterday are a lot more fun. There's more at stake. Um, you know, I think every little detail matters that much more. And, you know, as an athlete, um, you know, that's what you want. That's what you live for. You you want, uh, you know, high stakes. You want to be competitive. You want to be in the big games and stuff like that. And, I, you know, I think that's what it feels like right now for our group. And uh, that's really exciting. Like, you like to mix it up. Like, it feels like that's part of their DNA, mm -hmm. a lot of penalty minutes. And just, you brought in some new guys. How yeah. well kept do you think this group is to handle that? Yeah, I think that, I mean, that's part of the game. That's part of playoff hockey. I don't think that that has affected us really in the past. And I think that we're more well equipped to handle it with some of the guys we brought in now. So I don't think that that is going to really have much bearing on the, on the series. What do you think of the way they ended this season? Like there were such mm -hmm. numbers since February. Like is that encouraging to you or do you kind of like, like how do you see that? Well, you probably always want to be playing well going into playoffs. So you don't want to be... Um, questioning your game or losing games, that type of thing. But this team's got a lot of confidence in their group. They've won a lot of games this time of year. They've won when it matters the most. So um, they they are still going to have confidence, even though they've they've lost some games coming into playoffs here. How confident do you feel this group is? Like, what do you sense about this group going into the game? We feel really good. I mean, we've grown over the years that I've been here started to feel better and better going into every series and it's just about getting in there and getting it done. Do you feel comfortable in the favorite label? I don't know how much you pay attention, but you guys, a lot of people think this is the year. Yeah, I, I think that, that maybe that's a testament to how well we played this year and how we're viewed from the outside, but um, it really doesn't affect anything. I mean, if we go out there and lose again, then we lose again. You know, if we go out there and win, then we win, and no one's really going to remember if we're a favorite or not going into this series. So our mindset's got to be the same regardless. We know we've got a really good team, and we can beat anyone. Does it feel like there's more on the line this year versus previous years? Just there always feels like there's a lot on the line when you're going into it. Um, so I don't know. It, I, it's hard to say, like, one specific year it feels like everything's on the line. It feels like a lot is on the line every time you go into the playoffs. Yeah. Alex, we're always saying that we need to learn from the past. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that maybe you need to forget about the past? Um, I really don't think that, like, when you go into a playoff series, you're thinking about what has happened in the past. I think that, if anything, it fuels you to want to get back there next year and want to change things and change uh, the narrative around your team or change how people view you. I don't think that you're thinking, oh, we've lost before, so we're going to lose again. I don't, I don't think that really comes into our mind as, too much. How do you feel the big guys are handling the pressure? I guess, you know, in theory, they might feel it more. Yeah, they're, I mean, they've, they're some of the best players in the league, and they've been here before. They've played in this market. Um, they've dealt with lots of different things. I don't think that this is going to phase them too much. Is he on the penalty kill against this guy? Well, not being on the penalty kill, probably. They, they're dynamic. They score when it counts. Um, so you just want to stay out of the box as much as possible. And then when you do limit the amount of time they get it in zone, so clears are really important, face-offs are important, and then just being, being good in structure. Just excitement, you know. It's, you want to push past all the preparations and then just get to the fun stuff, which is competing. And I think that's really where our players are at. We have a final meeting up coming here, and then it's regular game tomorrow. So I think I remember last year you being asked the question about the pressure and, and having to get past the first round. Does the pressure get any more intense as you go along here as you try to break this first round? Or? No, we've had lots of practice here just in getting ourselves prepared uh, and focused on what matters. Uh, and that's really it. You know, they're the things uh, we can control that are right in front of us, take care of everything else. The pressure is a privilege. Um, you know, there's a lot of teams that are not playing hockey this time of the year that have no pressure, and they have no prep privilege or opportunity to compete in the playoffs with the type of team that we have. So we're, we're excited to get going. You've done well enough in the previous series to put yourself in position to win. With the addition of the new guys, has that added confidence? This year. Yeah, no doubt. We feel great about our team. You know, we know what the challenge is ahead. We know what the opponent we have to get through uh, brings, and you know, so we're respectful of all of that. But we believe in our team. We put in a lot of good work uh, to get ready, and uh, the team is excited to compete.
Sean, I mean, they have the track record, of course, but they, they were like sub 500 since February. What sort of opponent are you expecting? Like, what do you make of how they finished? I'm expecting opponent more like we saw in the playoffs last year, more like you're you're used to seeing and, and what you've seen of them for through different times during the season where they were at their best and and was elite and looked like the team that that you're accustomed to seeing. I think. Uh, the ex experience that they have, we would expect nothing but their absolute best. We're going to bring our best as well, and, and uh, like I said, look forward to competing. Sean, what's allowed to Jake McKee to come in and have a real impact on your blue line group? Here? Well, I, I, he's fit in really well. Like you, like you say, with the group that we have, he's played mostly with Brody, and and, and uh, you know, that helps any defenseman. But he's moved around and done well there too. He's. He's good at a lot of things. He skates well. He moves the puck well. He's got good offensive instincts, good defensive instincts, and he's tough. Like he competes. He's not afraid of anything. He stands his ground, whether it's to block a shot or to protect his net or to protect his teammates. Uh, there's, so there's lots of reasons for a guy like that to just be confident, go out with some swagger, and, and compete. And I think he's excited to play at the most exciting time of year. How much can you, as a coach, rely on some of those guys that were brought in that have that championship experience uh, at a time? Yeah, lots. But I mean, we've got lots of guys that have lots of different experiences, right? I mean, we've had we had Jake Muzzin in the past uh, that have won championships, and and we leaned on him. But you're still relying on others, and our guys have been through a lot together. So as much as the guys you brought in are adding to the group, uh, the group itself is is uh, is better and older and more experienced and all of these things. So uh, all of that adds up to you know a group that's like I say ready to get going and excited to compete. What do you like about Shen and Riley together? It seems like a classic pairing of an offensive guy with a big brawny guy. But yeah, you know, Mo's done well with those kind of guys in the past, and you know, Mo, Mo's going to move around. He'll, he'll play, he'll play through, through the lineup. But uh, obviously, Shen's presence is important for us to have his experience and his size and competitiveness that he brings to the to the back end uh, there for us. And um, you know, we think it gives us some good options, given that we've moved a lot of the other defensemen around. Um, but, uh, you know, Luke is a unique guy to our defense group, both in his experience and his age and on the right side there, and, and uh, also just, you know, the, the type of game that he plays. So uh, we think that's an important element to have. How about Jake McCabe? How does he help? Well, I think I just answered about that, but just, you know, he's... Like I said, he, he's a very complete defenseman. Obviously, you're going out to try to fill uh, the spot that's left there with Jake Muzzin's absence, and, and McCabe has done a terrific job. Uh, they did a great job of identifying him as an important guy to come in here and uh, and fill that fill that void. Uh, he's done a tremendous job of it. Well, they like to mix things up. It seems to be part of their DNA. Uh, what what sort of growth have you seen in your team in terms of dealing with that? Yeah, I don't think. You know that that stuff doesn't bother us. Uh, we're, our guys are going to stand their ground, and and you know most important to me is that it doesn't affect our play. You know that you don't shy away, you don't get on your heels. And I think we're a team that's going to play on its toes, uh, and it's got a lot of confidence in itself, and none of that stuff's going to going to bother us. It's important, you, you know, you keep the focus on what's happening between the whistles. But uh, all the other stuff is not going to phase our group. From Sheldon, you're more experienced too now. Well, I, I think, you know, I think it's whether it's in the NHL and a lot of playoffs and learn different things along the way, you're always you're always growing. I think the most important thing is I think I've grown with the group. Um, and while we've added guys, you know, I think you, you know the group well, you know their their strengths and, you know, where they need to be protected and, and helped along and, uh, you know, the, where to push and, and all those kind of things. I think that's really what it's about for me is that collectively as a group we've grown together. How much has it helped from uh, Jason Spezza helping behind the scenes to your assistants? Right down to your video guys. Or did they come this time? Yet? Yeah, this this all, always, you know. But this time of year, for sure, you know, you're organizing so much, you're going through so much information, um, and it's so important as coaches that we filter it down to have something that's that's uh, that the players are able to consume and process and and still be able to play free and fast, all those kind of things. So they do a lot of the work for sure to help make my job easier. So uh, just really quick, uh, what do you think about the uh, Belfast Giants and what they managed to accomplish? 
Terrific. Uh, obviously, been following it closely. My brother's had a lot of success there, and over the years in Belfast, has certainly made a home and a family for himself out there. But uh, he's a hockey guy through and through, and and uh, giant through and through as a player or a coach. And to win all three trophies in that league is uh, is a rare feat, and something that they haven't accomplished over there. And for him to get that done yesterday, I was pretty excited for him.